Let us pray. Almighty, our living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep as a shepherd tends his flock. When he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they are scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord. I will, the lost I will seek out, the strayed I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal, but the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them lightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. <laughs> the responsorial psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. The Lord, Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in the right path for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You spread the table before me in sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from Corinthians from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of death also came through man, as just as in Adam all die. So too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then all at his coming, all who belong to Christ, then comes the end. When he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed everything in sovereignty and with authority and power. He must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all and all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome, naked, and you gave me no clothing, ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. Now these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate the solemnity, great solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. <clears throat> Who wants to be a king? <laughs> king. I am the king of the world. But in the kingship of the Lord, there, there is a distinct there is a distinct nature, a tribute of the kingship of the Lord. In the Gospel are also in the first reading. This is the, the nature and the distinct uh, attribute of the Lord's kingship. I myself will look after and tend my sheep as a shepherd tends his flock. When he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. So the kingship of the Lord is a shepherd, a guide, a servant, not to be served, but to serve. And so, 
This is our reflection today as we celebrate the kingship of the Lord, of Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, not just King of Weaverville, <laughs> King of St. Patrick's Catholic Church, King of the universe. And this is, and this great solemnity is celebrated by all Christian, by all Christians. Protestants, Lutherans, Anglicans, everybody baptized in the name of Christ. There's one common denominator, Christ our King. And how to honor our King? To honor, to situate ourselves to that shepherd, to guide, to lead, to serve. And how to honor our King is here in our gospel today. The King will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father. Come, you who are from Weaverville, St. Patrick Catholic Church. Come, you are blessed by my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And this is how we honor the King, our Lord Jesus Christ. For I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. So these, these are the things how to honor our King. To be of service, to guide, and to lead. To those who are least, the, the last part, to the least ones. So, the line, you did it for me. So every, every, every actions we do, every words we speak, every day of our lives, we ask ourselves, do we speak or do, do we act for the Lord? The Lord said, you did it for me. So everything this should, this should, that should be in our hearts and our minds. That every time we speak and we act, we are speaking, we are doing for the Lord. Amen. 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 For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. A stranger and you welcomed me. Naked. And you clothed me, ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. These are charity. The standard is charity. Charity is love in action. It's love in action. And you say, I love you. What is it? But when you do something, deeper meaning, charis, charis, is love in action. It's a Greek word, charis. From the charity is from the Greek word charis. Love in action. And so this is our challenge in our day to day lives mm -hmm. as we honor our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe. In the end, the last word of the gospel, these will go off to eternal punishment but the righteous to eternal life. In our first reading, the Lord as a shepherd. Second reading, the Lord as a king. In the gospel, the Lord as a judge. But in the end, it is us judging ourselves. It is our choices that lead us to the other side. And so, as we continue to, to profess our faith in Christ, we ask, we continue to ask the strength of the Holy Spirit to be always faithful in following our King. Amen. Amen. Amen.